For the last several days, neighbors in and around Stone Oak have been trying to solve a mystery. Residents there are reporting a mysterious noise they're hearing late at night. Some describing it as an explosion, random fireworks, or loud booms being heard in the late night hours. Well, they say that they don't really know what to think because it is just so bizarre and strange. I spoke with several people who tell me this has been happening since the start of December and nobody has a clue as to what it is or where it's coming from. Multiple videos of horn sounds coming from the skies around the world over the last few years have gone viral. If I ain't right with the most high, I suggest, I suggest y'all get right with the most high because that's the trumpet. I don't care what nobody says. That's a trumpet. They ain't out here trying to, they ain't out here trying to prank nobody. That's loud. Bub, that's loud. Y'all ain't right with God. Y'all need to get right. This always happens when something bad. When something bad is in, it's like, uh, when something is near, you always hear this sound. Get right, get left. Yeah, that's up tramp. Oh, geez. Wind is definitely picking up. This is definitely 60 mile per hour winds. Might be maybe even 70. It's been like that all day, man. That's some weird stuff. That's, oh, crap. that's definitely a trunk. It's like I've seen this on the social, social media. I heard it. Y'all need, need to shut that door and stop. We need to get the light up and stop. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, that's definitely. I really hope that's not a tornado. I don't think Yo, it is. That's a trunk. I don't care. No, that's definitely a trunk. Look at that. Looks like the end of the world. What is that? The Book of Revelation describes a series of apocalyptic events heralded by the sound of seven trumpets, culminating in Armageddon after the seventh trumpet. These accounts resonate through the ages, but in modern times, inexplicable phenomena have been recorded and shared. Strange sounds, such as low-frequency buzzing, thunder on clear days, and even cannon-like booms in emptiness, have been heard long before the age of machinery and industry. Some of these sounds recorded and shared recently closely resemble the trumpets mentioned in scriptures. The mystery of these phenomena prompts us to question what is to come and confronts us with the uncertainty of the future. But even in the face of this, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. In the video, we will explore these mysteries and seek to understand what lies behind these phenomena, offering a perspective that may bring comfort and enlightenment in the face of the unknown. Before we proceed, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any videos like this one. I'll be releasing a series of videos about this sound that has been terrifying the United States and the world. It's a unique opportunity to explore this mystery together and better understand what's happening around us. The Book of Revelation, Chapter 8, describes the opening of the seventh seal, which contains the seven trumpets to be sounded by the angels. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Each of these trumpets unleashes terrible calamities. First, hail, fire, and blood rain down on the earth. The seas become blood. Darkness follows, and then the locusts. A vast army of darkness arises, and finally the Ark of the Covenant is revealed. While some Christians interpret these prophecies of the final judgment literally, many do not, and non-believers dismiss it all. However, believer or not, it's eerie to imagine the sound of the trumpets, especially when they seem to echo from no here and everywhere at once. In the early hours of March 17, 2020, people in Huon awoke to strange sounds seemingly coming from the heavens. Even more frightening, they seemed melodic, with no nearby machinery or constructions to explain their origin. These sounds were heard worldwide, from Argentina to Denmark, from Singapore to New Zealand, from Ireland to California, 
Sometimes these sounds are more sinister, like in the Sikh Republic, where they seem to carry a dark and wrathful presence, sometimes even resembling the roar of a beast. These sounds, known as sky trumpets, generate various theories about their origin. Some scientists attribute them to weather or geological events, but they are heard in all kinds of weather and even on clear days. Some speculate about a connection to the Earth's magnetic field, while others recall the sounds emitted by the aurora borealis and australis. The truth is, no one knows for sure what causes these phenomena. They may sound like music, machinery, or even the roar of a dragon, these unexplained sounds echoing from the sky, even on perfectly sunny days, harken back to ancient mysteries, echoing the narratives of Native American peoples and writings of authors like Washington Irving. In the rich tapestry of biblical imagery, the trumpet holds a significant place as a symbol of divine communication, warning, and judgment. Throughout the Old and New Testament, Trumpets are used to announce significant events, grab people's attention, and signal the coming of God's kingdom. The Book of Revelation, the final book of the Bible, employs the imagery of trumpets to describe a series of cataclysmic events known as the Seven Trumpets. These trumpets are sounded by seven angels, each heralding a different judgment upon the earth and its inhabitants. For example, the first trumpet unleashes hail and fire mixed with blood upon the earth, causing devastation and destruction. The second trumpet sees a great burning mountain cast into the sea, resulting in the death of a third of the creatures in the sea and the destruction of a third of the ships. Subsequent trumpets bring further calamities, including the poisoning of a third of the waters, the darkening of the sun and moon, and the release of demonic forces upon the earth. The symbolism of the trumpet in these prophecies is multifaceted. On one level, the trumpet serves as a call to repentance, warning humanity of the consequences of sin and rebellion against God. It is a clarion call to turn away from evil and turn towards righteousness. On another level, the trumpet symbolizes divine judgment and the revelation of God's righteous wrath against evil. The judgments unleashed by the trumpets are not arbitrary acts of cruelty, but expressions of God's justice and holiness, serving as a reminder that God will not tolerate sin indefinitely and that ultimately all will be held accountable for their actions. The recent eruption in the Tonga Islands, where a volcano unleashed its fury with torrents of molten lava, and billowing clouds of ash, presents a parallel to the imagery found in the book of Revelation. In this apocalyptic text, a series of cataclysmic events known as the Seven Trumpets are described as harbingers of divine judgment and warnings of imminent destruction. The volcano responsible for the recent eruption is part of the Hunga Tonga, Hunga Hawapai Volcanic Complex, situated in the vast expanse of the South Pacific Ocean. This complex has a long history of volcanic activity with eruptions recorded over centuries. The islands of Tonga formed by volcanic processes have been shaped by the geological forces that give rise to such eruptions. The people of Tonga have lived in the shadow of these volcanoes experiencing both the benefits of fertile soils and the dangers posed by periodic eruptions. In the context of biblical prophecy, the eruption in Tonga can be seen as a poignant reminder of humanity's vulnerability in the face of nature's wrath and of God's sovereignty over creation. It echoes the imagery of the first trumpet in the book of Revelation, where a great burning mountain is cast into the sea resulting in devastation and loss of life. Released by the trumpets, God seeks to refine His people, removing impurity and drawing them closer to Himself. As we reflect on the symbolism of the trumpet in biblical prophecy, may we heed its call to repentance, trust in God's justice, and await with hope the fulfillment of His promises. The trumpets serve as a powerful reminder of God's sovereignty over all creation, 
They remind believers of the urgency of the gospel message and the need to live a life of faithfulness and obedience in anticipation of the coming kingdom of God. The recent floods in Western Europe have led to major flooding that displaced residents in parts of France and Germany, with flooding episodes since November. What residents say is not usual. It's wake. Black currents sweep everything in its path, from innocent people to wild beasts, all becoming victims of ruthless destruction. In the darkest hour, the wind howls fiercely and mercilessly, like hell's wails. The thunderous roar of the storm is a cry of despair from lost souls, all hope consumed by the furious waves and relentless destruction. Therefore, the floods in Europe are not just a symbol of physical devastation, but also a clear manifestation of punishment and destruction at the end of times, as prophesied by the scriptures. They serve as a warning to the world about the accumulation of sins and injustices, and a call to repentance in seeking salvation before it's too late. Looking back at a series of catastrophes, from the devastating floods in Europe to the rampant destruction of storms everywhere, there is a profound understanding that the world is entering terrible times. The vision of the flood emphasizes the power of nature as floodwaters sweep everything in their path and leave behind a landscape of devastation where what was once old is now destroyed. However, the image of the storm with the force of the wind and the destructive power of the rain is a symbol of crisis and despair. In the face of these catastrophes, fear and helplessness arise within each person. In the context of the Bible, these catastrophes can be understood as signs of the imminent apocalypse, where judgment and punishment will descend upon the world. The oceanic flood, like waves from the deep sea crashing onto the land, can be seen as a manifestation of the Red Sea in Revelation, where the sea turns to blood and all life in it dies. The devastating storm, with its uncontrollable force, may be part of the fierce winds of the apocalypse knocking down everything in their path and destroying all social foundations. Viewed from this perspective, the catastrophes are not just expressions of physical destruction, but also warnings of judgment and the end of an era. They serve as a reminder to us of the state of the current world and a call to repentance and preparation for future challenges. The rapture has never been closer. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17 says that the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. The anticipation of the Lord's return is profound and resounding. It is not an envoy or a celestial being, but the Lord himself who will descend from the heavens. What a glorious day that will be marked not by silence, but by a mighty cry that will reverberate through the ages. This cry will pierce the depths of the graves and shake the very foundations of the world with the voice of the archangel and the triumphant call of God's trumpet. His children will be called home, and at that moment, those who are alive and remain faithful will be caught up together with the resurrected saints in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. From that point on, we will be with the Lord forever. It is a promise that transcends the temporal and leads us to eternity. We, as believers, await this event with great anticipation. This world, marked by sin and sorrow, will no longer be our home. The darkness and injustice that pervade this earthly realm will no longer hold us captive. Instead, we will be united with the Lord in the air where we will dwell with Him for all eternity. This is not mere speculation or illusion. It is God's immutable word as certain as the dawn of a new day. In these tumultuous times where despair and hopelessness abound, holding fast to the blessed hope of the rapture while the world may cling to the transient pleasures of this life. Do you want to stay updated on the most impactful and inspiring videos, 
on spiritual topics? Do you want to dive into content that will make you reflect, feel emotions, and grow spiritually? Then you've come to the right place. By subscribing to our channel, you'll have access to a variety of exclusive content, from inspiring messages to deep analyses of sacred scriptures. Our goal is to bring light and hope to your life by sharing teachings that can transform your spiritual journey. Additionally, by liking our videos, you'll be helping us reach more people, sharing this message of love, faith, and hope with the world. Each like is like a sign of support, a way of saying that you value our work and want to see more content like this. So don't waste any time. Subscribe now and join a community of people who are seeking spiritual growth and daily inspiration. Leave your like on the videos and be part of this movement of love and light. Together, we can make a difference in the world. We look forward to seeing you here and sharing this incredible journey with you. Subscribe, leave your like, and let's together spread more love and hope throughout the world.